American Short Fiction Presents, Issue 52, Summer 2011. In Decomposition, a Primer for Promiscuous Housewives by Jamie Quattro, a woman grieves the end of her affair, watching the corpse of her lover decompose in her home. At the back of the albino deer enclosure, you and your husband pause to look over the stucco wall. None of the deer are out. You take a sip of tea, and it's so hot the skin peels from the roof of your mouth. It's this sensation you'll come to associate with the moment after months of lying. You finally decide to answer your husband's question truthfully. You're in love with him, aren't you? Yes, you say, probing a delicate strip of scalded tissue with the tip of your tongue. Made Easy by Kevin Moffat. A widow negotiates support groups and her neighborhood, wheeling around her son in a stroller and navigating through a fog of grief. One by one, they tell the teacher what they like. They like tea, ice cream, Springer Spaniel, church, bedroom, friends, English, sister, sailboat, Cadillac Seville, breakfast. Lena is last. What do you like, he asks her. I like horses, she says. I like walking and most flowers. I like the feeling of somebody whispering close to my ear. Outstanding, he says. I love my wife and daughter. I love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What do you love, Lena? His small, small eyes study her. He's trying to look warm and attentive, but his eyes won't allow it. They're the eyes of a creature that needs to detect only if prey is moving toward him or away. I love everything I like, she says, plus Twix bars and puppies. Okay, he says less enthusiastically. He claps twice, and just as he's about to move to the next person, he turns to Lena and says, this is English Made Easy. It sounds like you should be in one of the advanced classes or one of the recovery groups. In Under the Big Night Sky by Christopher O'Connor, a multiphobic newspaper writer vanishes, and the story sets out to investigate. Ellie DeWalt's third piece, Environs of Conway, places which are not strictly farmland, like for example that auction house you can see from the highway, brought more letters to the Conway Herald's office. Some praise. DeWalt nailed it. I got my tractor at the auction so I should know. Plus. My cousin Donnie works there. Hey Donnie, look at me, I'm in the paper. Some were less kind. DeWalt's done, he's just running out the string now. Another letter suggested he get a bicycle already and get out some. Stig Hagen wasn't naive about DeWalt's skill as a writer. He told police investigators that reading DeWalt aloud might kill nearby plants. But he knew the circulation value of a good controversy, and like static in the air, tickling your skin before a thunderstorm, he felt one coming. <laughs>